atmosphere and environment, how does it play into what we're able to charge for a service? So when I started in the business, I had worked at shops that the price point for a haircut was half of what we charge here at Barbier. Um, you walk in and there's really not like a wow factor. You walk in and you expect, it's just a barber shop, it's in, it's in the neighborhood. You're gonna get a good haircut, but that's all you're really there for. And conversation, of course. At our shop, you walk in, and when I first was, when I first came here for an event, before I was an employee, I was like taken back. It was like a beautiful shop, beautiful place. And because of it, it creates, uh, we had everything going. We had music, atmosphere, aesthetically pleasing. You come to our place, it's gonna, it looks so much different. And because we're different, we're able to really raise the price point, um, raise the, actually the standard and, and the value that people have in what we do. For so long, uh, getting a haircut at a barber shop was something that's quick, easy, and cheap. Now, people are recognizing the value of our trade. It's super popular. If you watch Mad Men, Boardwalk Empire, everyone's trying to look and, and, and uh, uh, emulate these characters with fashion and a haircut's at the cherry on top it's the last piece to that whole look feel and everything so when they come to a barber shop and they see that it's classy and they're play and it's not it's not a it has it, once you have a, a classy situation or where your people come in and they have it's almost like they didn't expect it then you're able to charge uh, a different price point. You can increase your price. People don't even have a problem with it. People thought when I came to the shop that I was crazy. No one's gonna pay, you know, $25, $35 for a haircut. That's not true. People pay it all day long, it, and it's because we've created atmosphere. We create quality. We don't rush. We do, we use high quality product to finish the cut. I advise the client. I spend quality time with them. It's not. It's not like cut their hair, send them on their way. The way I approach every haircut is I want that person to look the best possible, meaning it must be finished, manicured. So when they leave, if someone asks them who cut their hair, they're gonna say Gabe at Barbier, and they're gonna come and they're gonna request me and ask me. That's how you create great, a great clientele base through referrals, through, through, through a satisfied customer. Uh, not just through marketing and Instagram, Facebook, those are good avenues, they're important. But if you cannot produce a high quality product, then you can't charge a certain amount of money.